Okay, let's see how this one goes. This one's not the most exciting piece. We'll soon find out how we can make this one look interesting. We're going to blow it up 400. It's a small piece. I wonder what we're going to do with it. It's not the nicest thing to dwell on too much, this original. But we'll soon see if we can make it look really nice. Even though it's about something that's so ugly about today. Okay, we're just going to set this silly shitter up. I wonder what background colour we're going to give it. Um, that'll be an interesting one if we can. So we're just going to go here. So it's going to be blue or cyan, I think. I'm going to make it cyan. Let's see how this one turns out. So this one here is... Well, it shows what mankind is, generally speaking, worshipping. Money. It's not actually dollar notes. These are visa to do with visa cards. This was taken out of a a flyer to do with delivering pamphlets, and I guess this is something that they showed that you can make money out, make some pocket money out of it. You know, it's good for kids, like school kids, and that delivering pamphlets. So it's a pamphlet delivering company that's been around for a long time, and I used to work for them when I was fourteen when I was still in high school, and my mum and my brother did some as well, or my mum did most of it, uh, pamphlet delivering. Pamphlets, <laughs> terrible job. It's not the funnest job on earth, but I, I couldn't get work at the um, supermarkets or the Target or, the, or anything. I couldn't get any work anywhere for some reason. I just couldn't seem to... The people never seemed to be interested in getting me a job, so... I took one of the, I wanted to, I did one of the lowest jobs, it earns a lot less, it's a pittance, it doesn't earn anywhere near as much as say you're working at the local McDonald's or the local uh, supermarket, and it's a lot of hard work and <laughs> in both wet and, and dry weather and shit like that and it's no fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, my mum didn't allow me to ha get access to the money. I don't think she trusted me much with money as a 14-year-old. So I sort of felt like I didn't. I did this for nothing for some reason. I just did it for nothing. I didn't get to see the money, which really sucked. But hey, anyway, that looks quite nice. The colours look good, so I'm happy with that overall. Um... So we're just going to throw this to the recycle bin, but yeah, Visa cards. You can make a lot, you can make plenty of pocket money, it's like it's saying. It's not much pocket money, and it's just pocket money. You know, it's good for, a, it, it's a good thing about it is, is that it, it, you can lose a lot of weight doing this. So it's good for weight loss, and it gives you an incentive to lose weight, because you're making some cash out of it. It's better than just going on a diet and trying to crash it out yourself you know having a having a job like this you lose is the good thing about it is you lose weight so there is a positive to delivering pamphlets and shit um and that's one of them the fitness the fitness side of things and it's really nice and i guess yeah it's really nice to get paid to get fit so it's it's not all bad news it's not all shit you just have to f work out what you're willing to forego and yeah you got to fold the pamphlets as well and then put them in your backpack and carry them around you got a lot of walking it's a long way to walk you know all the way around your local area uh but it's better than nothing i suppose and if you're a student it's as I said, it's good for students and yes it's good for losing weight so there are some good things as i just said Sorry to keep repeating myself, folks. I just have a habit of doing that, unfortunately. <laughs> so let's see how we go. Yeah. So, yeah. Now let's see if I can make this look good. I think we used... For delivering 
a certain amount. I think we used to get like, if we had triple pamphlets together, three different pamphlets or leaflets, whatever, you get paid more than if you just have a single lot. Now that looks, I don't like that purple, even though the colours are nice and bright. I think we've got it on red. I think it's still stuck on red. And because it's red, it's going to... Uh, it's going to basically make it, yeah, it's on red. So we're just going to kill off the red. We're just going to take the hue. And we're just going to chuck it in the centre. And maybe we just have to lighten things up a bit. So we're going to centre that. We're going to, I'm just wondering if we're going to add some contrast. And we're just going to use the copy density. Rather, Actually, no, we're going to keep it in the middle. We're not going all the way so it's okay so let's see how we go but yeah it's like what was I going to say um, brings back memories you know like back in those days the year was 1987 when I was 14 so yeah it was a long time ago it was like 31 years ago since I was doing the Salmat boogie so to speak <laughs> boogie yeah, right. Let's see how that looks. That looks very nice. That looks really, really nice. And it's colourful. The colours are well balanced. You know, the different types of colours. I really like this. This is good. So maybe some, Matt, if they see this on my YouTube channel or on my Facebook page, you're probably going to hope you like it. <laughs> so yeah, good old Sal, Matt. Who could ever forget? I wonder how long they've been going on for. I wonder when Salmat started business. It was a long time ago. <sighs> Dear me. <laughs> Let's see how we go. So this has come up a lot better than I thought with these tiny little, this tiny little picture being enlarged 400% or it's now more than 400% now. So now we're just getting ready for the mirror images of this. But I'm really pleased with the overall result of this. This has turned up really well. So hopefully Sal Matt will appreciate it. <laughs> oh well, whatever. I don't know if there are any if there's any corruption in that company. It just seems most companies are out to make money, including this company, Konica Minolta. Because Konica Minolta are a huge multinational and they make a lot of money. But they don't produce equipment that lasts very long. And sometimes this photocopier does misbehave a little bit. And these misbehavings don't seem to be consistent for a machine that hasn't done that much hard work. Because I'm only using it way below its um, rated recommended duty cycle of 10,000 copies a month. I'm only making like a 1,000, so that's like one-tenth. And this machine can take up to 119 no, 19,000 is the maximum that this machine is rated at. It's, it's obviously not rec the recommended amount, but it's obviously the maximum. So this machine is way below any of these amounts. So this machine should not squeak. It should not do anything. It should be functioning really well. But enough about that. That looks really nice. I think now we've done, hopefully Salmat won't mind this. <laughs> This is an interesting take, so I think I can call it quits now.